today I'd like to take you on a tour of Photostack and point out some of the key areas of the workspace along the way. First of all, you'll see your photos displayed here in the library. To see a preview of the photo, including the photo's information, simply hover over its thumbnail. At the bottom of the workspace is the status bar. Here you can see the number of photos you are viewing and how many are currently selected. Next to this are the zoom tools. Use these to zoom in or out or maximise a photo by selecting it and clicking on the maximise button. At the top left are the menus. Here you can access various functions including flip and rotate on the edit menu. You can also access the learning assistant from the help menu where you'll find tutorials and news articles. On the left are the organise and metadata tabs. On the metadata tab you can see all the information attached to the selected photo including the file name, date taken and a combination of the XF and IPTC metadata related to your camera details. Fills in white can be edited, just click on them and start typing. On the Organise tab, you can create albums and smart albums. Choose to include folders on your computer and assign tags and ratings to individual or multiple photos. This will also help you when filtering and searching, but we'll look into this in a little more detail later. You can also access other areas of the Photostack workspace using these buttons on the toolbar at the top. We'll have a quick look at these areas now, but you can find out more information in other video tutorials. You can add more photos to your collection at any time from the Import dialog. Simply choose your device from the drop-down list, choose your photos in the Photo window, and then set specific transfer options. You will come across the Help buttons as you navigate around the workspace. Just click on them for more information. In Map View, you can add geotags to your photos to show exactly where they were taken. Use the zoom tools to zoom in and then pan to your desired location. All of your photos are displayed at the bottom of the workspace, so you can access them easily, then drag them onto the map. Next is the Develop View. Here you can transform your photos by applying image adjustments. For simple adjustments, you could try applying a preset from the Presets tab on the right. Choose your category and then click on a preset. More advanced adjustments are available in the Adjustments tab. On the toolbar, you'll find a range of retouch tools including Red Eye, Spot Repair, Cloning and Cropping. Below these are popular photo adjustments including Curves, White Balance and Lighting. You can add as many of these adjustments as you like, but the best thing to do is experiment and to see what works best for your photo. Earlier we explored the Organise tab and then that it can be used to filter and search for photos. Let's see how this works using a collection of previously organised photos. If I click on a tag, you can see all the photos with that tag assigned to them appear in the library. I'll hold down the control key and choose a date taken. Now you can see all the photos that share the same tag and the date taken. Alternatively, you can narrow down the photo collection even further by searching for tags, folders or file names. When you've finished organising and editing your photos, you'll probably want to distribute them to friends and family. This is really easy to do and there's lots of options to choose from. First, you'll need to choose whether to export, print, email or upload your photos. If you choose to upload, you'll need to select which account you want to use. In Photostack, you can choose a preset sharing option on the Presets tab to make sharing even simpler. The presets available may differ depending on the type of sharing you've chosen. If you can't find what you're looking for in the presets, you can set custom sharing options on the Custom tab to meet specific requirements. Well that concludes our tour. We've covered a lot in this tutorial, so don't worry if you've missed anything. To find out more about Photostack, see the Learning Assistant. Thanks for watching.